Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fry Smiles Oral Health Network. I am your host Scott Fry. Had a three week, two, three week hiatus uh, and I'm back for more fun facts from the couch about oral health. Uh, today we're going to be talking about two specific time periods during your child's growth and development that are absolutely critical for determining the kinds of bacteria that establish themselves on your children's teeth. Now, it's important to keep in mind that you know, even if you do everything perfectly, your children are still going to be at risk for cavities at some point in their life. And you know, if you do everything wrong, they're not entirely doomed to a toothless future. But if you focus on the guidelines that we're going to go over today, you're really going to do a whole lot to putting your child on a path towards easy street for oral health. Now, got our handy timeline here on our whiteboard uh, to go through this with you all. And your children will start getting some teeth at about six months old, and they're going to continue to get more and more teeth, uh, baby teeth that is, uh, until they're about two years old. Now, in this time period, the, um, the studies have shown that about, let me see, about 19 months to 31 months old is a particularly risky time period for your child's oral health. When they have teeth in the mouth, bacteria have an opportunity to start growing on them, and the nasty acid-causing bacteria really like to start ramping up their growth uh, when there's a lot of sur surface area in the mouth uh, between 19 months and 31 months years of age for your child. And the second time period where uh, they're going to be at risk during their growth and development is when the six-year molars, the first permanent molars, start erupting around naturally six years of age. And until they grow to be touching the other teeth during chewing, about two and a half years after they first poke into the mouth. Now, what are we going to do to go ahead and make sure that during these two risky periods, your children's teeth are going to be better off? For this first time period, the first thing you want to keep in mind is, number one, get your child to see in, see a, in to see a pediatric dentist uh, within six months of the first tooth coming in and, bef and, and not later than one year of age. So as soon as they start getting their first tooth, go ahead and give your dentist a call, set up an appointment. The second thing to keep in mind is that you, as a mother, should start chewing xylitol gum or using xylitol mints, like we've gone over in uh, some previous posts, at three to six months following childbirth. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, well, I'm a mother, these are my child's teeth, what does that have to do with one uh, What do those two things have to do with one another? But if you take a moment um, to kind of think about where bacteria come from, they come from outside the body and namely other people. So you as the mother being in close contact with your child um, are going to be the likely source of where your child gets the bacteria that end up on their teeth. And chewing xylitol gum uh, from three to six months after childbirth and continuing that on until the end of this 31 month old period. So as soon as your child's about two and a half years old, you can stop chewing xylitol gum. Going ahead and using xylitol during that period is really going to reduce the risk of you passing on acid-producing bacteria to your child. Now, for the second period, the main thing to keep in mind is that when these six-year molars are coming in, they're often tucked away behind the baby teeth and are tough to see. They have lots more grooves than the baby teeth and more nooks and crannies for bacteria to hide. So, it's very, very important to go ahead and focus on cleaning these teeth from the second they get in the mouth. Otherwise, because they're not in contact with other teeth when they're chewing, pools of bacteria can sit on top of them and stagnate and really go ahead and provide a, a, a not so nice breeding ground um, so that way nasty acid producing bacteria can come in and colonize those areas, which is not good. And you want to go ahead and make sure that your dentist has a chance to go ahead and seal all those grooves on top of the teeth when they have an opportunity when they're in the mouth enough to do that. So those are the three big points. Seeing the dentist uh, from an, uh, getting your child into a see the dentist 
uh, at an early age. Chewing xylitol gum as a mother from three to six months following childbirth until your child's two and a half years old. Going ahead and focusing on cleaning those six-year molars from the second they get in the mouth. Have your child tell you if they feel a new tooth in the mouth. You can look with the mouth mirror um, in the mouth to see if there's a tooth back there behind all the baby teeth and having the dentist seal those permanent molars. Those three big areas, I guess that's four because the dentist sealing them is a fourth point, but I'm going to go ahead and include the chart, the timeline down below for you guys to check out uh, and our major points about how you can go ahead and provide your child uh, with a healthy start for their teeth, all down below. Now we've had an awesome month this month. Um, the past 30 days we've had over a thousand visits from 50 different countries and I want to thank all of you guys out there, all our viewers, um, for sharing this blog with all your friends and really you know, just coming out and being interested in this material because without you guys and without spreading the word as much as possible, uh, we're not going to be able to help with nearly as many people. So thank all of you and I'll see you next week.